We're here with Thomas Myers and Ian O'Dwyer and we're going to be talking about the subject or topic of pain. First up was, this is our perspective. This is where we're coming from mm -hmm. and this is how we have to deal with it from a hands-on perspective, from a real perspective, from this is life perspective. It's okay to theorise and it's okay to research and do science and that's fantastic but at the end of the day we're the ones who have to try and create a solution or an outcome <coughs> for our clients. Mm. So I don't see any sense in trying to answer everything. I think if we can just give the reference to and give the respect to say the clients come into our business and they're looking for some solutions and generally people are coming to us when the solutions are very limited now. They've explored, they've searched, they've researched but they seem to have more confusion and less people listening to them because more people are saying well we can't give you the answer so therefore maybe the pain doesn't exist. Now for me that really concerns me as our industry, as the wellness industry goes, because of the fact that that only creates more pain and we haven't even touched the client when they can't be heard. So it's an interesting one because of the fact that sometimes pain can simply be decreased purely by having compassion, uh -huh. purely by having the ability to listen, and purely by the fact that you can now put them in an environment, you can create an experience that allows them to be who they want to be. So we can't underestimate this time, as we know from health pra practitioners, from movement coaches, from hands-on therapists, that we've seen, experienced and understood that no matter what we do, that may not necessarily be the cause for the pain to disappear. It may purely be the fact that our environment cr it creates that it's a su uh, successful outcome for them. Yeah, so does that make you guys feel better if we say we don't know the mechanism by which the pain is disappearing? It is neuromyofascial epithelial-ish. Um, some kind of mechanism is making the experience change. That's what I want to do for my clients is to have the experience change. Sometimes that will result in a diminution of pain. Sometimes it doesn't, but we hope most times it does.